All right, Danny boy. Do we have any follow-up dialogue from you? No. Nope. Perhaps not. How am I doing, by the way? Do I... I don't see it. We got a bunch of various things in my inventory. But I don't see any mention of lamp. That's interesting. The last game I played by them... I don't know why I, don't know why I phrased it that way. The other pathologic game had lamp oil as a limited supply. This one doesn't seem to necessarily mention it as being limited. Which is funny, because this one's actually dark enough that I might actually need it, whereas the other game was never dark enough to justify me needing a lamp. What does that sound? Really? There may be more of these than I thought. Got morphine. That could be useful. It's kind of hoping to find something that would help me learn about what to do here. Another save point. So maybe they're more common than I thought. Just generally speaking. Oh boy. Gen generally, I'm going to try to not to steal stuff directly in front of people because I may get in trouble for that. But accumulating items is going to probably be necessary for my survival. Okay. Hi. Ace. So what? Is the asshole still in there? The one with the carpet bag? Watch your tongue, boy. Though I do agree with you. But where's Dr. Rubin? We need a doctor. That obnoxious dandy is a doctor. A well-trained one, I suspect. A doctor, my ass. We tried talking to him already and he just shooed us away. What? Has he forgotten his Hippocratic Oath? I should give him a firm reminder. There's been a disaster. Alma, Duke, and Wolfling are poisoned. Where are they? In a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad to the left. You'll see it. Lead the way. I can't. We need to go to a drugstore and find bones and a whistle and a shovel or not can all bite our heads off. You'll find the place on your own. It's easy. Bones and a whistle are your cure for poison? Well, good luck with that. You're the man everybody's after, right? You look like the description. Oh. What's the description? You know, big, fat, dangerous, with bulgy eyes and a weird leg, scary mug, a stupid look on his face. It must be you. Uh, wow. Thanks, kid. At least I know what I look like now. Really? Well, whatever. It's good we found you. We need help. What for? We need to hold a trial for a murderer, and we can't do it without you. Will you help? What? You've caught a murderer? Or was it the murderer? It's kind of hard to say. So, will you come? Let's go. The courthouse is a warehouse. The one with little flags. Hurry up. They're starting soon. The warehouse with little flags. Oh. I remember. Seems like you kids took over our old place. Hello? So Ruben would be here if he was actually home. Ah. Uh, I may know where Ruben is if they stuck it out still. The local urchins. The urchins need assistance. I s ha. Huh. So there's three poisoned people. And there's a jury. All assigned to the 
dog -eared, dog eared kid. That might go back to that. But dear lord, this is getting crowded fast. Uh, in a somewhat distressing way. Father's supposed to be dead over there. One of Grief's boys got stabbed. I have a scalpel, technically. It's just not a high quality one right now. Hmm. Maybe I'll take a look. It's still early in the morning, right? Just might want to hurry a bit. Except people might be attacking me on sight now. I've got to be careful about that. Got me some chalk. You guys have dialogue. Ochard. There's a lot of characters in this game. How fares your kind? Cath <laughs> Kantaga. <laughs> Bayala, how fares your kind? We, the Kartanga, must help each other out. You are our kin. You shouldn't get into fights, Tanga. You'll always lose, no matter who remains standing. How come? Think, Tanga. If they kill you, then it's very bad, right? But if you kill them, it's still bad. Everyone will hate you. Won't let you in, sell you food or barter. You'll be hunted. Do you need a wolf's life? But they, they don't treat each other that way. We are kin, they dislike us. True, we are kin. Don't get into fights, Unente. Clear up your name first. As time passes, people will accept you, then do as you please. By Allah, let Mother Bodo caress your step. But his trust is too low for him to trade with me too, even though we're kin. Seems like that sh he should be separate from the local population, but he's not. Strangely. What was that? Nope. Don't think anyone sees me around here. Let's book it. Uh-oh. Will these guys notice me? This seems to be a thing going on over here. What is this? Oh, they're all meeting up with this guy. What's what's your deal? Katanka. There's the there's the word we just met. Uh, just just learned, not met. Today is meat day, Tonka. We feast, we feast on meat. What are you celebrating, Katanga? The, the, the Katanga is, I'm, great, I'm nailing it. Katanga brought meat this morning. Said a warehouse door was left unlocked. So we took some. Boss Vlad grows fatter by the day. He works. He takes the profit. So we've decided to take the meat, at least. Is it at least fresh? It's cured, Colbone. Who would keep fresh meat in a warehouse? And if you need it to drink, the water is next to the factory wall, see? Barrel water is the best, brought from the steppe. But in a pinch you can drink this, too. Alright, show me the meat. Smoked meat. Value of four. Water bottles still have a value of one with them. Springs have a bit of value with them. A pocket watch is a good find, evidently. And my charms are apparently fantastic. Oops. I've overinvested. There we go. So I can trade two charms for three meat. So the, so the bartering begins. Smoked meat. Not as good as fresh meat, but better preserved. Tear it apart with your teeth. No forks or knives required. So this guy will barter with me, at least. Canned meat, jerked meat, smoked meat, boiled meat, beef, ham. The art of cooking meat is truly honored in the town. That'll help keep me alive when my hunger meter gets into the bad place. Is that going to be my home again? Is it the right building?
let's meet up with the kids. So, they seem to have stuck with the same system from the first game in the warehouse. North section is Grief's neighborhood, and south section is Notkin's, the kids. So far, no one's attacked me yet. I'm hoping that doing side quests for various characters will help me out in that it will hopefully increase my reputation to stave off the decay that today is hitting me with. There's some barrel water. I can drink it. Hopefully I don't start getting poisoned by this stuff, surprisingly, or anything. Flags. Oh. Nope. I mean, I guess who would use the upturned garbage? I'm twice as tall as all of you, that makes me king. Snout. Look, see everyone? The doctor's here. Who's sick? You're too late, they died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? Wow, they died fast. Three kids are dead and no one gives a damn? Not kids, worse. Those were our dogs. Alma, Wolfling, and Duke. Who poisoned them? Somebody evil. Notkin's planning on holding a trial. He wanted you to be there, too. Well, at least I'd made it in time for the trial. Not all is lost. Is it, though? The dogs are still dead. That traitor Lika saw you this morning, by the way. How you got off the train and beat those thugs to a pulp. Who's Lika? He killed Duke, Wolfling, and Alma. Nakin will punish him for that. Don't you need to make sure he's the real culprit first? I'm speaking from experience here. Yeah. I'm kind of in that exact spot. I hear a cat, don't I? I think. Catnip. Thank you. Thank you for actually coming. You're so brave. Look, we all made a gift for you to welcome you here. See, it's bread. Please don't frown. It's all we can spare. We need to eat, too. There's a lot of mouths to feed here. There's definitely a cat here. Why are you doing this? Sorry it's so stale. And drink the milk fast. Because it'll go bad soon. But the water is fresh from a ravine. So you kids are all hungry too. Well yeah, we are on our own after all. I can't accept this gift. But you're a guest, take it. Or else we'll get bad luck. We need luck more than food right now. Ugh, okay. I understand. You poor souls. I'll take it. Thanks. I'm being, like, forced to take it. Drink it fast or it'll go bad. Milk. Warm, creamy, satisfies hunger and thirst. Reminds me of childhood. My thirst doesn't need help, but my hunger could. Oh yeah, thirst is literally not on my screen, huh? So there are more meters than initially show up, but it's just whatever ones are damaged kind of sink away. Doesn't the left side of the right side of the stamina go down when I run? So it seems like the left side is creeping up to indicate that the more I run, the lower my stamina gets. Hopefully just for that day. Milk, often used as an offering to the dead. Milk serves as a reminder that all that is born must come to an end. It is said the dead drink milk over water because the flow of water reminds them of the flow of time. Well, this is also a huge thing in my inventory, so... Bloop. Look at that hunger go. Hope I didn't get sick or something from that just now. Dandy. Knives. Scissors. Blades. Razors. Anything sharp. If you got a sharp axe, I'm interested. 
How about a sharp wit? It can, duck, it can cut deeper than a knife. Those items are what I barter for. We need them. And what would you give me for sharp objects? Lockpicking shivs. If you're handy with locks, you can open three or four doors with one. Brand new. And needles. Good for smaller locks, like locker locks. Oh, so needles are also... Needles are also lockpicks, but for different locks, apparently. Do you trade needles for knives? Strange. Oh. So you aren't a local. We aren't allowed razors. If they catch us, we'll be grounded for a year. Might even get spanked. Nice try with the bullshit, but I'm not buying it. Razors aren't the only forbidden sharp objects. So where'd you get all those pins? Did you break into a tailor shop? Sure. A train full of needles derailed outside my window. Happy now? Why do you care? We barter, because we don't need pins anymore. We've outgrown them. You're all grown up, aren't you? Now listen up, kid. Only butchers aren't allowed cutting tools in this town, got it? Nah. We're not doing that. Scissors for a needle's a good trade. Deal. Alright. Ooh, he has got- he has drugs. Wow. Immunity boosters, morphine, a lockpick. That costs five. Revolver ammo, that is gonna cost us. Yeah, so we want to hold on to our needles and not trade them, but fishing hooks? We can go all in on those, for example. And some broken scissors and a spring. Ooh, useful to fix all sorts of tools. I might want to hold on to that. I've got 14 right now. Lockpick's only worth 5. Morphine's probably worth it. Yeah. Relieves fear and pain, leaving you drowsy and numb. If I take this before sleep, I'll recuperate better. So it works the same way. You do not want to take it in the middle of the day, because it'll put you down. Alright. Making some interesting trades. Also kind of filling this inventory up. So now I know the needles are not trade items. What? Broken ampoule. This is a dead item. The carcass of an ampoule of morphine. Items used to improve health die. Who could possibly want this? Shit. Hmm. Morphine. A person's only alive for as long as they feel pain. No matter what Katerina Sabarov does, she remains alive. So the morphine never stops her pain, is what you're saying? Distressing. Thimble. Useless in a town that forbids sharp objects. Still good for sewing. I still have a pocket watch? I forgot that I didn't trade it, I guess. Can't light an oil lamp without one. Oh. Oh no. One must recall that which is most dear to them before the match burns out or the whole thing won't work. Do I- uh oh. So I think I lose... I think I lose a uh... I think I lose a match every time I light my lamp? So I do have- I do have a requirement, it's just not oil. I don't run out of oil. Instead, I have this. Shit! I didn't realize that at first. I'm trying to put bartering items on top of this menu and consumables down at the bottom. But quickly, this inventory is gonna fall- is gonna fill up and there's not gonna be a lot of logic to how it's all organized. What is a Kashik? Dry fermented dairy product. Salty. I don't like any of those words you put together just now. While herding cows and bulls in the steppe, Oldongs often live on water and kashik for months at a time. Nothing fancy, but it's nourishing. Ugh. Dry fermented dairy salty. Those words. They don't mix well for me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's great. I'm getting- I'm guessing it's not. Where is the cat? 
Or do I just always hear one? Because that's a trip. Hmm. I'll take you to your end, rend, tend, mend. You guys have a fixation on rhyming, rhyming huh? Knock and you don't look so great. Okay, I don't like it. He looked at me like he heard me. You're here. Good. The trial can begin. But who is the accused, kids? Shouldn't you at least present him to me? A question first. They say you're no son of Old Burrock. He was a doctor. He saved lives. It is said that you kill instead. Is that true? Ah, so that's who the accused is. Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer or no? Killing is not necessarily murder. Calm down. No need to be defensive. Or are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul and a halves? Don't calm down me, boy. You want to put me on trial? Go on, then. Tell me, is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Old Burak wasn't just a doctor to us, he was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you are his son. So you're to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? Only in self-defense. So murder can be right sometimes. Who are you planning on killing, boy? It's not about me, but about us. My soul and a halves always hang together. Answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing our fate. This seems like a genuine choice. Like one that'll actually affect the future. They've even double hinted at the idea. I don't like the binary split is the problem. It's too simple of an answer. Saying that it's acceptable or not acceptable. I suppose the question is whether or not you should lie. Assuming you have this belief. Whether or not you should lie in order to stop him from thinking killing is acceptable. But they also might turn on me for being somebody who was killed. I think I'm still going to lean on the self-defense idea. Fine, yes, sometimes killing is acceptable. Good. We now know the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. So you know me, huh? That was quick. Guess I should talk to you if I'm ever confused. Cats know the fact or the matter. Ignore when a fool comes to chatter. Every dog has its day. What? You... Ha you have your revenge, and so do we. We now know how to deal with Laika, and that verdict can't be appealed. Yep. Yep. That's kind of where I thought it might go. Well, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> All you and I have in common now is that today will end soon. Go. Thanks for your help. Wait a second. What does Laika do, anyway? 
Like it poisoned our friends, who are weak and defenseless. It's an open and shut case. You mean the dogs? We are soul and a halves. To us, they were not mere dogs, but friends. And we prefer them to people. Why do they call you soul and a halves? We each have a half, besides our own soul. See this gray cat here, chasing his own tail? That's Jester. We're always together. I see no cat, though. Of course you don't. He's my half. Jester will only show himself to you when I trust you. So about this Laika. Why do you care? Listen, kids, I'll handle this. Where did that come from? He's our problem, not yours. You've done your part, we'll do the rest. You'll put him on guard. I, however, can get him to can get the drop on him. Perhaps you could, and then what? If he's a, as bad as you say, I'll drag him over here. You know what? Give him this leash. He'll understand what it means. Will you do this for us? A leash. Why? Well, he's untrained, so just giving a command won't do, but this leash will do the trick. Just give it to him, deal? Sure. I'm intrigued, even. We have a deal. Murky says it's by the gum st It's by the gumstone. Who's Murky? The girl in the corner. She was the one who told us you're a killer. Did she see me then? She did, but don't bother her. She's frightened as it is. Fine. Where do I go? The gumstone. Stepward from the basket. Aren't you supposed to know all this? Or do you step folk have different names for everything? Nah, it's the same. I know the place. I don't know whether or not one of those was a lie. I mean, one of them had to be a lie, right? Solon has want to punish the culprit who poisoned their dogs, but I don't want them to do something they'll regret for the rest of their lives. Things are getting complicated. Things are expanding. Things are taking steps. Oh boy. It's a bit out of the way, isn't it? Am I getting myself in trouble here, wandering off and doing things? I guess we'll find out. The girl in the corner. Hmm. Okay, I can't obsess over which one might be murky. What I do know is if we're gonna stop them from murdering this kid, we have to hustle. Cause it's like in the, it's like clear in the other way. And so, it's almost noon. And we haven't even made it past. We haven't even left the train station, essentially. Or at least here we are, back where we started. Nope, can't jump that. It's beautiful out of here now. Oh, that seemed like it might be the plant I want. How do I spot these things? Where is this kid? Step has a thousand eyes. Creepy hand, but where's the kid?
Oh, there he is. I was a little worried I was going to have to the really look for him. To come. Oh, yeah? Look at you. Feeling better. But the town's not too welcoming, is it? Don't worry. The step is wide. It can hide anyone. What brings you here? Who are you, kid? Why do you ask? Tell me straight. Were you the one who poisoned the dogs? All lies. I'm a good, kind soul. Explain yourself. The soul and a halves are the real punks, and not kin is the worst. And punks deserve to suffer, right? But you can't hurt them. They just wipe the blood away and keep going. So you need to hit them where it does hurt, right in the heart. Make them see how it feels. Hit them where it hurts, huh? I think they were right. This world doesn't need people like you. No, no, spare me. We're friends. I helped you out, didn't I? You owe me. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Let me go. Maybe I could be useful to you. Hmm. He did give me a tourniquet. Oh, that was just his leash. I have the option to give him a leash, which is bizarre. Does it have like a magical hold over them? Or does he just believe so thoroughly in this game they play that he has to play along with it? I'm really curious about whether I should give him the leash, like what it does. But they are planning on murdering him. I do respect my debts. Hopefully this one counts even if I let you go. Wonderful. So off you go. By the way, if you need anyone to confirm that you only arrived this morning and couldn't have murdered anyone last night, just say the word. I'll run to Sabrodov and testify. Yes. That would be helpful, actually. Wait for me by the town hall. There we go. So I've betrayed Notkin, but I have somebody who can report what I did. Report the fact that I arrived after the murders and I couldn't be the one responsible. He has no additional dialogue. Oh boy. That's good. I think that's going to be what today is about, is I need to probably collect a series of people that will testify on my behalf. The dog killer is the dog head who saw me at dawn. He will testify to my alibi when we at the town hall. I wonder what Notkin will think of this. Uh, he won't be happy, generally speaking. That's my first guess. Welcome back to the game where we run around a lot because that's what pathologic is. It's like Dead Rising without the hordes of zombies between you and everywhere you're going. Just the part where you run. 